first I started working for Mobile BP and the last role I had was trading LPG and then I came, uh, became knowledgeable about being a trader and then at that certain moment, it was say 20 years ago, the electricity market became liberalized. Because you as a customer can choose your own utility as a, a power and gas supplier. And then I thought that's interesting. I want to be active as a trader because I had experience as a trader. And the market was totally new. The market didn't have any traders. I saw that as an advantage. And that's the reason why I chose to, uh, to become a trader in the electricity market. I started working for a Norwegian company, Stadkraft, which were opening up the offers in the Netherlands. And that's where I started uh, as a power trader. The reason why I'm successful, first I've been hedge fund manager myself, what helps, but I don't think it's key. And secondly, it starts with having a good product. Yes, I'm very uh, picky with the fund managers I work with. I work only with fund managers who have uh, been portfolio managed for 10, 20, 30 years. Uh, who have an audited track record, who make more than 10% per annum. If you look at these criteria, and I'm roughly 20,000 hedge funds, then you only find about 30 managers. I work with 20. So that's number one. Then when you look at the investor side, there are probably, when you look at institutional investors and also take family office and wealth management and fund of funds into account, I have 85,000 people in my database. a very difficult time at the start of the fund in 2006-2007 because when we started we lost about 15 percent because the investors became very nervous and we had a great year in 2007 and 2008 and I had a very difficult time in the end of 2009 my assets peaked at 2009 with I believe 150 million dollars and everybody was ready to invest because we did so well in 2008 and the story was great and we did great marketing and then I couldn't perform anymore because in 2009 I lost a little bit of money and uh, every week I became more nervous and nervous because we couldn't generate the return I would love to make and that's the reason why I stopped the fund in May 2010. Managing money is the hardest job in the world especially in being the owner and portfolio manager. So I have great respect for all the people I work with how they are doing it in, in the life. If you can make uh, around 10% per annum uh, without doing any work, it's great. I mean, you, you double your capital every seven years yeah, when you make 10%. Yes. And I'm aiming for more return. Personally, I made about 25-30% the last 10 years per annum. That has to do with the fact that I was very concentrated in the manager I just described. And it has to do with the fact that uh, my real estate portfolio doubled and tripled. I've seen that coming because since 2008, interest was moving from 6 to 2%. As I thought, okay, real estate should double or triple. And that's what I've done. I mean, that's the reason why I bought a lot of real estate since 2010 and stopped the last four years. It's all my real estate doubled and tripled and I work with leverage. Just that also generated uh, a far higher net worth. So I'm constantly looking at my own portfolio, what is good to do with my own money. And when you look at my own portfolio at the moment, I mean, like I said, I'm investing in hedge funds. I expect to make between 10 and 20 percent, which I'm expecting to make for my investors as well. But also have five to six percent in early stage blockchain. So I expect that my early stage blockchain position will go times 10 times 30 the coming three to five years. If, if that will happen, that will give a big boost to my net worth again. Because if I talk to you in three to five years, I, I think that will happen times 10 times 30 and we have 5% times 10 or times 30 then it will increase your net worth uh, huge.
How much money do you need to be financially independent? That's a lot of money for everybody. I mean, I think when you have 10 million and you make, when you invest in we, in my funds, you should be able to make say 10%. And when you want to have more uh, safety, maybe you make a little bit less than 10%. Then you have 1 million euros, which you can spend. Then you are, for me, you're financially independent. Of course, you cannot fly with private jets and you cannot go, uh, uh, you cannot uh, blow away uh, 600 bottles of champagne every day, but uh, you should, you are financially independent. This, I think most people, 10 million is enough to be able to no, not to work anymore. But when you have 10 million entrepreneurial, you want, in my example, I mean, of course I have more than 10 million and I'm more eager than ever to make more money because I really like it. And I like my life. I mean, I like my life with traveling, meeting nice investors, meeting new managers. Uh, it's like, I'm, most people like me are addicted to success. I invested in seven new funds uh, from April 3 to, to diversify my portfolio more. And actually the manager which lost 50%, I'm not selling that manager anymore. Because when I started working with him, he, he had 50 million and he went to 4 billion and he cancelled the contract already one and a half year ago. Because all my investors in that fund also made a big multiplier. Because I didn't raise any money for that manager who are now uh, below the subscription price, which is good as well. This, all the, the funds in my fund uh, will be more diversified and less volatile. But actually, it would be a good moment to invest in that manager now. And I will also launch a new fund. I will launch a new fund myself that will be launched in one to two months so that all the investors can directly invest in my fund and that fund is a collection of the funds I'm investing in myself. Does that fund will contain about 10 managers, which I'm personally invested in as well, so that they can start investing from $100,000. And they only have to do one subscription instead of separate subscriptions. And the KYC nowadays is very hard. It's a very hard process that, that makes them life easy by making the subscriptions and they have a diversified portfolio. The last four years I invested all my money in hedge funds and the reason why I did it has to do with performance. When you invest in my funds you could expect between 10 and 20 percent per annum. And I'm also distributing hedge funds, raising money for hedge funds. I'm doing that for the last 12 years. So I'm raising money globally, mostly from Asia, Hong Kong, Tokyo, Singapore, from the US, mostly around New York. And in Europe, most of the money is coming from Switzerland and UK. And recently, I started becoming more active online. Because so I've raised a lot of money from mainly Dutch entrepreneurs uh, the last one or two years. I mean, everybody who has a net worth of more than one million should be interested to talk to me. Bye.